for one of the first tests that I did with the GH4 was variable frame rate. To go to variable frame rate, you push the menu button and motion picture. First thing you want to make sure you have it set in MOV and then go to record quality. At 4K, you cannot record variable frame rate. Only at 100 megabits at 2997 and 100 megabits 2398 can you record VFR or variable frame rate. For this demonstration I'm going to go to 2997 and then I hit the button. Then I go down to variable frame rate and you want to set the rate that you want. Right now it's at 60 frames a second. I'm going to go to 96 frames a second. And that sets. And now I am set to 96 frames a second over 2997P. And this footage you see here was shot at this rate. I am very happy with the quality of the slow motion this camera creates. It plays back at 2997 so it's a very pretty slow motion. All right, now to do the fast motion, I go back to variable frame rate and go to set and move it all the way to the other side. And now I'm at two frames a second and I set it and you'll see at the top, it now says two over 29.97. Now everything will move very fast. What I like about this GH4 is it reminds me of Panasonic's Veracam, which gave you a lot of different frame rates on a video camera. This is pretty exciting and I'm very happy with the results. To do a time lapse, this is a good way to do it. All you have to do is speed up the footage in post. Variable frame rate can be done in AVC HD as well. Right now I have it set at 1920 by 1080 with a sensor output of 29.97 at 24 megabits. If you notice on the bottom it says VFR available, that means variable frame rate. So now we go down to variable frame rate, we go set, and you see it's at 2 frames right now. I'm going to set it at 60 frame rate. 60 is the highest you can go with ABC HD. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of variable frame rate on the GH4. Please stay tuned to Frugal Filmmakers for more tips and reviews of this important equipment.